Where are you, Becca? Hey, it's Zach. Well, a voicemail, anyway. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, uh, just leave a message, yeah? And no, Ash, you're not allowed to lockpick your way into my apartment again. Just do what any other decent human being does and call if I'm not around. Thanks. Why isn't anyone answering? Yo, Zach, call me back, all right? I wanted to check in and, uh... Yeah, just please, call me back. If anything, he's the one who stayed by me out of pity. And I have every reason to worry about my brother. Waiting game it is, then. Where are you? What was that, Ash? Could you repeat that? Signal shitty here. I asked, where are you? Hell, Zach, I've been calling your number for a good 20 minutes now. What kind of shithole did you get into? Good morning to you, too. I should be asking you that question. I've been looking all over the mansion for you. I thought you'd be... What mansion? Do I really need to answer that? Why are you even... No. No, wait. Just get your ass to Isabella's place and hurry. H how urgent is this? enough for you to stop asking questions and get yourself here. Please, Zach. I'll be there in a few. Uh, an hour or two tops. Thanks. I'll see you. You're up early. I thought you left. I've checked with Zach and Rebecca. I'm just waiting to hear back from them. We're going to wait for them. Don't stand around there. It's getting distracting. You're just cooking. How am I distracting? I don't know. Something might explode again, maybe. Zach's kitchen ban for you is also in effect here, you know. Now, shoo. Go. Stop hovering. You'll ruin the food. I'll be done here soon. I don't want to think what might happen next in case I miss something. Shit. They're all depending on me and... Ash! It's 
Sorry, I just spaced out for a moment. Don't mind me. when he tried. So eat. You'll need it. I've been wondering, you know, before last night, before Mama told me the news, what if, what if Papa passes away, despite everything? That sort of thing. I know it's not good to think about, but I also knew it was getting worse. Mama won't say anything, but I've always known that one day, he'll eventually... I don't know what I'm going to do. Before, I can easily say it's because of Papa. Now, I don't have anything. You have that scholarship from LuxU. Were you going through my personal papers while I was sleeping last night? I don't really have to. You left it sitting in the open, right there on the table. I don't even know if this will work out. Well, if it doesn't, what about that exhibit you've been planning with Zack? Do I even have to ask where you got that? Zack sucks at lying. You have no idea how easy he is to read. It was all in his face when I asked about it. And anyway, if that doesn't pan out too... You... you have us. I'll get that. It's probably Zach or Rebecca. You said it was urgent. Did anything happen? Is it Becca? Bella? Everyone's fine. Well, Becca's not here. She went... somewhere this morning and hasn't answered any of my calls yet. But Isabella's... I'm here, Zack. Morning. So, nothing's wrong? Why'd you call me here for then? Tell me not to do anything stupid. Christ, you were right there! We have this stupid, stupid, stupid curse thing going on and you were right there! You just walked up inside a private property! Those people can easily sue you for breaking and entering, and that's the least of it. I know, Ash. But I can't just leave things as they are. I've gotta do something. God damn it, Zack, I was worried. <laughs> Zack! No, oh, he's worried. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> that cool act ain't gonna fool me anymore. Let go. Zack. 
Seriously, Zack. Why are you even there? Told you already. I was looking for you. Why would I even go there? Well, you mentioned a plan with Isabella here. I assume that's where you guys went, since that's where she found the letter. Sorry. I was really at a dead end. You could have called me. I did. I didn't receive any, and my phone was with me. You're kidding, right? I was at it the whole night! Please tell me he's joking. You were there? No, we really didn't get any. Everything was quiet last night. But Zack? At BRC? Ashton and I saw... Sup, Bob Ash from the Lux City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. It's back Looking up. for trouble? I'll tell her to Better get here as soon as she can. I'm Excuse a cool me. dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Where? I got your message. What happened? Nothing. Yet. Where are you? Downtown. I... I had to make a quick visit to the library. Listen, Ash, about that thing Isabella has been talking about. There's something you guys need to... Please tell me you didn't... <sighs> Whatever. Save it for later. I'm at Salem Well. If you can get here as soon as possible, that'd be really great. This is... related to that. You're there? Yeah, Zack too. Rebecca's asking for you too. Becca? Is she okay? Hey, Becca! Hello, Rebecca. Odd morning we're having, eh? Hey, you two. What, what's happening over there? Is this something I should be worried about? We'll tell you once you get here. Please hurry. I don't like the sound of that, Ash. But I'm on my way. It gives me a few minutes. I'm driving. I'm so glad you're okay. Ashton checked on you this morning, but... He did? I I'm sorry. I was in a hurry. I didn't have time to drop by and let you know. It doesn't matter. What's important is you're here. You okay? You're limping. It's fine. I just had a little accident. In a library? Well, I... Yeah. It kinda caught me off guard. Something's happened there, hasn't it? Let me see. Can... can we? We have to check if it's bad. <sighs> oh, that is gonna be one hell of a nasty bruise. Tell me about it. It was a library cart that hit me. You know, the old metal ones they keep near the history section. Ouch! Like I said, nasty. But she's there? She went after you. Yeah, I... I was in the archives, looking something up. Suddenly, she was just there. Belle, she was using my own students against me. What kind of terrible, terrible person does that? Oh, it makes my blood boil. You should have just ran. That woman's not something you can hit with a... with a book. <laughs> Laugh it up, Ashton. I did. Then the bloody cart came out of nowhere. And you know what? If it weren't for a damn book, I would be dead by now. Uh, 
I'll go get a cold compress for that arm. You guys take a seat first. Ashton and I... We... We have a lot of things to talk about. We aren't getting anywhere at this rate. Don't just drop it. There must be something in this we aren't seeing yet. I know, but what are we supposed to be looking at here in the first place? Well, we already looked through those files. You're the one that picked it out last night, right? All of them? I'm pretty sure every person we've checked in there isn't necessarily involved. One client possibly died of old age. Remember, you found that dumb paper... <laughs> Not so dumb if it can kill all of us. Ha, <laughs> ha. Very funny, Z-Man. Anyway, like I said, you discovered that paper right before the open house. No one else was allowed inside during that time. It's too broad of a scope if we include every single person. In fact, the only notable ones are C and Jean Marie. Yeah, okay. They went in and out of this place. But no, you still don't get it. What I'm trying to say about those clients is... Maybe there's more than one of it. Even my friend, the, the priest, from the cathedral. He's been acting strangely. There might be more than one of that paper going around that we don't know about. More to this. I mean, look at all this stuff Rebecca brought with her. Apparently our teachers have been lying to us all these years. So who knows? Hey, now don't blame us. Blame the bloody books they wrote. Why do they have to keep this in the restricted section? How should I know? I wasn't even aware we have archives that go as far back as this. This is before the city was even founded. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for Andrew's help, I wouldn't have gotten my hands on any of it. Maybe they didn't think it would be important to talk about it. After all, this is more Anselm's than ours. That or some old bugger's hiding something. We've been at this since morning. We should take a break for a few. Ashton, that might be... Gather everything. We should just... Everyone, we need to...
fun times. I can rest easy when this is all over. Storm might be due this evening, give or take. What now? Where do we go from here? Well, first, we can't just stay here. That much is obvious. But we can't just keep running like this either, Becca. Sooner or later, she'll... As if we have a choice! We can't even go back to our own homes because that thing might get us! No, we're safe! But dying is the last thing I want to do right now, Isabella! Not to a stupid... chain letter you were... You were too... too gullible to pick up, bring with you, and show to everyone! I didn't do it on purpose! Becca, had I known... Had I known, I wouldn't have... Hey, hey, you two! None of us want to die to this! Just calm down. We ain't getting anywhere shouting at each other. Zachary. No one's. But we can't just say it's her fault. She did warn us not to open it. And both you and Ashton... That doesn't exempt her from any blame. She's still largely responsible for it. And you're not? I didn't say that! Do you really think I don't blame myself for this as well? I tried to warn all of you. None of you listened. Now you're blaming me for something I kept telling you guys since day one? You're just as responsible for this as I am. So now you're throwing it back at us? We wouldn't even be having this problem if you're... Well, you two cut it out! This ain't the place for... for I don't know, petty squabbles! If you don't want to get caught in it, then stay out of this, Zachary! Oh no, Zach! Don't stop her! Let her say it! I'm sure she has plenty more to say. If I didn't know any better, she's already. Already what? You want me to say it? Out loud? That I find you in this whole thing? All right, that's enough! Everyone, shut up! If we all want to get out of this mess in one piece, we're gonna have to cool our heads first.
Stupid, stupid, stupid. Some fucking detective I am. It's because you did this. It's all your fault. Why won't you believe me? You doing good there, boy? You're looking a bit green. Sure you got plenty of rest back there? If you were only out for an hour or two, wouldn't hurt to try and get some sleep. I'll keep an eye out. No need. Don't worry about me. I won't be able to get some sleep anyway. Dad, I heard that from you before. Not buying it. What's the story this time? This as bad as that case with the guy who ate his own eyeball. <laughs> I wish it were. <laughs> Jesus, stop reminding me. I hated that case. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you get a kick out of telling people about it. <laughs> it's useful, you know, for blokes who don't know their limits. Sends them right out the door after I start with a description. Or was it the part when the poor schmuck gouged his eyes out? Nasty, awful, icky stuff, and it gets the job done. Like I said, useful. Don't even need to call security these days if I want to kick someone out. Anyway, pretty sure that pales in comparison to whatever this is now. I haven't seen you distressed out since I closed that case. The one from ten years ago, with your professor friend. Abigail and her team weren't able to solve that one, G. No one has been able to. It just... went cold. Eh, same difference. But what do I know, eh? I just serve drinks, listen to people's problems and their whining, then make sure they get home safe afterwards. Thing is, I'm also not blind, kiddo. And you can bet your ass I can tell when a person's about to fall apart. What? Is this some form of therapy from you? Are you going to offer me free drinks now? Ha! In your dreams, kid. Last time someone gave you the hard stuff, your photographer friend had to haul you out of this place almost half naked. Hey, I can handle my liquor when I put my mind to it. <laughs> not from what I've seen, nope. Besides, you usually avoid drinking. Either way, it's out of the equation. And when booze no longer counts, we just talk. So, talk. It's not like anyone with an earshot will care. That chap over there only wants his cricket matches. I doubt you believe it, G. Ah, I've heard worse stuff. Try me. <sighs> you know that mansion down at Anselm? Yeah, who doesn't? You live in this town long enough, it's impossible not to hear a thing or two about it. Bloody locals. Well, my friend found a primitive version of a chain letter in there. Now that we've seen it, we're cursed. It's not a prank. This isn't a prank! I saw something! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, good one, kid. <laughs> you don't want to spill. No one's forcing you. Seriously, though. Oh, good one. It's... it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, all right, good luck with that. You're on your own. Here I thought you didn't have an ounce of humor in that body. <laughs> Guess I'm wrong. I believe you're the same rookie who walked in here almost a decade ago. Too smart for his own good, that boy. He's always been two steps ahead of things. Now he's here, sulking. I must have screwed up somewhere then. No, I don't think so. This one? Screwed up? <laughs> Not by a mile. It's too early to say you've still got several years ahead of your homes. Take it easy. But some things change, eh? It has been years, and you were a kid back then. You know, the sort that's a bit unsure, making all the horrible decisions in life he'd eventually be embarrassed to talk about. You never stopped calling me kid, though. 
Well, you still are. It's just that this time, you're sure of who that badge and gun is for. What was it you police types usually say? To protect and serve, yeah? sleep for a few a, a few hours yeah I think the better question is if the dreams are pleasant and for the record no uh yeah I, I know what you mean <laughs> I get those a lot suddenly smiling like that. Huh? Oh, no, just, I was just thinking about something. Well, it better be something that'll get us out of this mess. What makes you think I know how to fix this? Until two days ago, I didn't even believe a word you guys have been telling me. Zach, I function better when I'm dealing with homicide cases. Hell, feel free to throw in the usual robbery and missing persons case into the mix. I don't care. Give me a few days and I'll give you a lead. This? This isn't how I operate. This isn't what I'm good at. For all you know, I might even end up getting us killed. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, the fact that you're frustrated but still trying already means something, Ash. Besides, you don't make that face unless you already have an idea. It can't be any worse than this. Maybe. It's on your mind, Ash. We still have one more lead we haven't checked. I'm... I'm gonna look into it tonight. Hold on, D didn't you tell me not to go in there? Whatever happened to stay away from Luke Wright? You're an unarmed civilian, Zach. And so? So, I want you to stay here and keep yourself safe. I probably won't take too long, but I don't know what might happen. I'm not even sure if I'll find something in there. G will keep an eye on you guys. If you need anything, that woman shows up, just holler. He'll help out, no questions asked. You don't even need to explain anything. I'm going with you. You can't go in there alone, Ash. I, I heard something. The morning I was there, I heard someone scream, and, and then, and then there was a woman crying, and I don't know what's going on inside that mansion, but I am telling you, you shouldn't face whatever's inside alone. Zach. Zachary, listen. I know you only want to help. Like hell! This ain't just about helping, Ashton! You're throwing yourself in the thick of it, on your own! Was your fall last night really that bad? Did you hit your head hard? I... I honestly can't tell if you've gone stupid or just plain suicidal. My head's okay, Zach. But it won't stay that way if we don't do anything about this. Someone has to. And that means it's just you. Just me. I... I'm sure you already know about this. Maybe this is you trying to make amends, or whatever. I don't know. 
You're making your own decisions here. But if something happens to you, it'll be just that. You'll just be another dead body out there. Please, don't do something like this. Don't worry. I'm not stupid enough to get myself killed. I... I just want things to go back to normal, Zack. Three hours. Three hours? For what? <sighs> That's more than enough time to go there, to check things, like you said, and travel back here. If you don't show up here beyond that, I'm going after you. Make that four. What? You said you're just gonna check things. Why would you even need that long? Speed limit? I'm a ranked law enforcement officer, Zach. I'm supposed to set an example. <sighs> I so wanna punch you right now. Boys, drummer's nice and all. I used to watch these bloody god-awful afternoon cereals with one of my brothers many, many years ago. But listen, I am not having one in my pub, all right? You two want to fight? Go out. Something wrong, G? Eh, nothing much. Might be still a slow day for this place. But you might want to check on your friends, kid. Looks like one of them woke up on the wrong side of the bed while you were out. Alone? You know we can't just go in there. But we don't have any other choice, Becca! There's really no other way! We have to go there! If you'll just... Isabella? No. You know how I run this pub, kid. No fist fights, no cat fights, only good booze, bad puns, and off-key singing. Go fix it before it blows up in your faces. I'd hate to throw two girls out of this place over a petty argument. Sorry about this, G. us in enough trouble because of this this let a ghost everything and you can't expect everyone to fix your mess you keep on putting the blame on me but you're the one who didn't listen all of you if you just listened in the first place maybe this wouldn't have happened but you're too busy acting like you know what's best for everyone when in fact you're the one who's being selfish I'm the one who's selfish yet you're still going to do what you want anyway even if the people around you are already beside themselves with worry. This is how you've always acted since we met, and I'm tired of it. Sometimes... Sometimes I wish you never even came here, because all you've given us is a headache. You know why I haven't come here. My dad! Your dad has nothing to do with this. It has always been you and your whiny, careless self that has always been the problem.
You okay? What do you want, Ash? If you have something to say, just tell me, or I'm going back upstairs. Did you really have to say it like that? Well, how do you want me to answer her? Do you want me to just let her go there and do what she wants? I know you won't be too happy if I did that. That's a low blow, Rebecca. Even for you, we all know she wasn't even planning on staying here this long. There was no need to bring it up if all you wanted to do is stop her. Did you even see how she's acting? She's not a child anymore. Even my students can do better. <sighs> Becca, she'll listen if you'll just ask her properly. I know you mean well and you do have a point, but please be a little more thoughtful next time. Go think about it for a while. You're going to destroy an important piece of evidence if you keep doing that, Bell. Come on. If you keep staring at the table like that, you're going to bore a hole on it. I really don't want to OG a new table. He'll pick the most expensive one and leave me begging on the streets. I really don't care. I'd even take pictures and post them online. Go away, Ash. I don't want to talk right now. Okay, I have another one. I don't want to hear it, Ashton. Go away. No, really, listen. I know someone who talks like an owl. Will you leave me alone if I bite and ask who? Oh. <laughs> You're awful, and I really hate you! Just, just leave! <laughs> Feeling better? A little. You're still lame. But you're laughing right now. Only because your humor is terrible. Right. Keep telling yourself that. I know it's funny. And you know what? If you've kept frowning like that, your face might have cracked. That would have been really messy and ugly. I... what? Ah, God, crap. Damn it, that was... that was so not what I meant. I was just saying you look better when you're smiling. Thanks, Ash. Isabella, about what happened with Rebecca earlier. I should probably apologize to Becca. I know she only means well. And I said some really bad things. Don't worry. She can be pretty stubborn, but she'll listen. Especially to you. You think? You're one of the few people she likes. She won't stay angry for long. I can vouch for it. I... I know, Ash. I just thought... 
I just thought we'd find something in there. That if I go back, we'll get the answers we need. I found the letter there, so maybe, right? I can't let you do that, Belle. Ash, the people living in that place now, they were with me during the open house. They have to know. They're in as much trouble as we are. I know, but it's risky. It's dangerous. We don't know what you might find in there. Or, or if you'll even find anything. What if you see her again? What if she goes after you? What are you going to do? For all we know, it might be a dead end. It's, it's not worth it. Put yourself in harm's way like that. Stop that. You're going to hurt yourself if you keep doing that. Can we... can we talk? 